more knocks, more knocks, more knocks. Welcome back you guys, this is Jasper and today I'd like to welcome you to episode 1 of the newest series on the channel. This series is devoted to deep diving and exploring the weird and wonderful aspects that have come about in World of Warcraft through its progression and timeline, and I thought what not a better way to start off this series by taking a very careful look at those weird and wonderful people that we call the mailbox dancers. All right, but before we get started, let's give a shout out to the music that you're listening to today. It is by Zane Alexander, and the name of the song is Radio Silence. In addition to that, you guys, I would like to say, if you do happen to like any of the content that you come across on my channel, please feel free to like, subscribe, and even turn on the notifications if you'd like to get notifications when I do happen to put out a new video. I'm gonna try to put out one a week for you guys. But let's go ahead and get started. Mailboxes have been in the game, well, since the beginning of the game. Developers put them there to either send or receive parcels from yourself or other players not to dance on but in the beginning of the game there actually wasn't a lot of them out there there actually was like maybe one to two per faction city which is not a lot when compared to how many we have available to us nowadays however back in the we yonder days it would be these locations where you would normally commonly see back in the day at least tunes just dancing on a mailbox and these tunes would be dancing on a mailbox for various different reasons some of them would be spamming like oh you know like will dance for gold or looking for group or random things or maybe they're just staying up there to annoy people i'm not sure it wouldn't surprise me either way but even when i when i went to uh if i don't have a stroke uh even when i went to wowpedia um and i googled just you know mailbox dancing it, it has its own page uh, but they specifically state that this is not a part of warcraft lore this is just something that has become part of the world of warcraft culture or community um it's even become such a, a staple that they even added a hearthstone card of course uh, the card did very similar things to what it used to do it gave uh yourself a coin and actually gave your opponent a coin it was just a nice little subtle nod to uh the legacy of those mailbox dancers uh but it's something that has kind of disappeared in more recent times i myself have not seen a lot of mailbox dancers maybe i'll start doing that in my free time i'll just start afking on top of a mailbox but make sure i'm dancing but uh, that being said though this is kind of just uh the end of the video i just i want to do a quick chat about it i mean it's literally just people dancing on a mailbox so i can't you know sit here for 12 minutes and talk about it all that being said though i would like to thank everyone for taking their time out of the day to watch the video please remember to comment like subscribe if you are interested in seeing more or just kind of getting notifications when i do start uploading again the next video should be out within the next week or so i'm still going through all the different topics that i'd like to discuss and explore with you guys in this new series i hope you enjoyed everything and i will see you guys soon in the next one peace <laughs>